What's up guys? Happy 2 22 22 day. Try to say that five times fast. The ultimate tongue twister and happy uh, National Margarita Day. Somebody have one for me out there. Definitely not doing that, but I thought uh, this would be a good time. Random video, but I saw this a couple weeks ago on Twitter. Your favorite all time uh, rotation from your favorite baseball team. Not necessarily the best or Hall of Famers, but your favorite that you got giddy and the warm feelings when they were, they are or uh, are going to toe the rubber for your favorite team. So obviously the Atlanta Braves and these are going to be more modern, but in no particular order, John Smolt, Tim Hudson, Chris Medlin, uh, Mike Soroka, and Max Fried. I absolutely love those days and uh, prayers up to Mike, and I hope his second Achilles recovery is going well because uh, the game of baseball and the Braves are just better with him around. But um, John Smoltz was just a master at his craft, and I distinctly remember rushing home from one of my brother's uh, high school baseball games, I believe... It was even against Audrey Kell and Alex Wood, um, and we and I didn't make it home in time for his 3,000 strikeout against uh, the Washington Nationals. But I just loved that John Smoltz was was as good as he was for as long as he was, and um, his rapport he had with Brian McCann was second to none. And Brian, being a rookie in the second year, I just remember. Being so excited when that turn in the rotation came up. So that's why he's one. And Tim Hudson is what I think I said that. So Tim Hudson is another one. Uh, he was just a bulldog ace. Had fun with <laughs> when he was out there on the mound. Was a great hitter like Max Freed. Uh, when he somersaulted, uh, uh, tripped over his own feet and somersaulted, and Chipper Jones. Uh, laughed so darn hard and he was just uh, the safe haven of our uh, rotations back in those days where you just felt re really really confident that we were gonna get a good game and get a W and his splitter was one of the most disgusting pitches that I've ever seen um, so Tim Hudson <coughs> and just his joy and he used the rosin bag to, on his head when it got super hot. He was just one of those guys that you just love to see succeed and love the game of baseball. So that's why he's part of it. And then Chris Medlin, uh, just one of, just so unassuming. His repertoire is unassuming. Again, he had the joy that you need to play in this game. Uh, and all of these guys had a bulldog mentality. That you didn't know whether we were down seven or up seven. They just went about their business. And I just loved the fact that he didn't throw the hardest. But he was the best pitcher um, or top three pitcher in 2012. And you couldn't debate that. And I think he still owns the record for most consecutive team wins when a, when a specific starter starts. And I believe... That was 26. It was just phenomenal to watch him uh, go about his business and do what he did as not the fastest throwing guy or not the nastiest pitches, but he knew where to put it and knew how to succeed. And that's why Chris Pendlin is part of that, part of this rotation for me. And... Um, Max Reed, obviously, uh, I'm partial to lefties because I am a lefty. And just the development, seeing his development into the ace that he is now, uh, the athlete that he is. Um, thank you, San Diego Padres, again. I think I thank you uh, two or three times a year. Uh, and for us to take a chance on him with Tommy John and seeing the development of all his pitches, that nasty, nasty curveball, probably top five curveball in the league, that powder river fastball when he needs it. And again, he almost got his ankle broke, but then decided to go 
six shutout and six Ks, um, four hits and no runs to help us clinch the World Series. What else could you want? And Mike Soroka uh, is on my list as well just because uh, he is the ultimate ground ball king. Uh, he's been snake bit by bad luck and injuries. And I still distinctly remember the battle that he had with um, Adam Wainwright, that one nothing duel in uh, 2019. 19 consecutive scoreless innings uh, in the playoffs. He is just kind of second to none. And he needs to get back because the Braves and baseball is better with him in it. And I can't wait. And the, fa the fact of the matter is, he is a master craftsman at um, adding and subtracting to every single one of his pitches. And at, at such a young age, I'm just so, so excited to see Mike Soroka pitch. And hopefully, he'll be on a mound soon and stay on a mound. But all of these guys have special pieces of my heart in, in the Braves history an organization for many many different reasons but that is my favorite uh, Atlanta Braves rotation um, bar none and I can't wait for baseball to come back so we can talk about 2022 and beyond and not think about the lockout for ever and ever but as always go Braves what is your favorite all-time Braves rotation Drop it down in the comments, like, subscribe, helps me out a lot. As always, go Braves, champions forever.